This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Huge thanks to EA for early access to FC24. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lasty and welcome today to an FC24 video. Today I wanted to show you how to start Ultimate Team, how to play Ultimate Team on the new EA FC24 without the use of FC points, money, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, this is essentially a little bit like a Road to Glory episode one. There have been some changes this year, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to be getting welcome back packs. What we're going to get instead is a founders pack. That is because we are founding a brand new generation of the game. It's no longer FIFA, of course. It is now FC24, EA Sports Football Club. So, um... If we're not going to get welcome backpacks. That makes things a little bit more difficult to start things off if you're not going to spend FIFA points. So let's get into this, shall we? Uh, if you enjoy, smash a thumbs up and subscribe. And there's other FC24 content on my channel already. So what you will have seen there as I entered Ultimate Team for the first time is I chose Brazil as the starter nation. I've basically done this because... Uh, I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> People out there that are smarter than me have realized that you get a lot of different Brazilian players from a lot of different leagues all over the world, uh, meaning that when it comes to doing things like advanced SBCs, you're going to end up having quite a few extra Brazilians that could save you a few coins in the long run. So... That's a recommendation. I've also seen people say uh, France is a good option and also Germany is a good option. So take your pick. But, um, or you could, of course, just pick your nation that, that you are if it's in that top nine uh, and enjoy yourself that way. It doesn't really matter. However, what I was just showing you there is when it asks you to swap out a player for a loan, you can back out of that situation and then choose a different position if you didn't like the ones that it gave you, uh, and then go back to whatever you think is the best. And after a little while of choosing kits and a badge and all that sort of stuff, you end up with a club summary, you're in Ultimate Team, and you're about to skip on through and see that, oh dear, I've got no welcome backpacks, I've got no coins, and I'm not spending FC points. How am I going to do this? Well, there's a few different things that you should be focusing on. Uh, so this is the the Founders Pack, by the way. You get all sorts of TFOs and stuff. You also get an FC Founders Evolution. So you get one of those uh, paid evolutions, I guess it is, uh, as a token that you can use, which is going to be... That will come in handy, but I recommend maybe just holding on to that for a bit until we really understand what Evo and Evolutions is, what you know the best player would be for you to spend that on. Um, I would say wait a few weeks weeks maybe days wait a few days until you uh until people have figured out what the best use of that would be um so essentially i want you to head on into objectives i want you to do things like change your club name um choose the one where it's like make 12 chemistry happen in your squad and the fact that you've already got a bunch of brazilian players in there or, or whatever nation you chose, you'll be able to get like 12 or 14 chem, whatever it is. And you'll also have a few different uh, little consumables in your club. So you'll be able to apply a contract to a manager, apply a contract to a player. Um, I've got a catalyst chem style because I did something else and changed my club name or whatever it was. And I was able to... Um, apply stuff there to players and then that's going to give me these these little morsels to work with you know whether it's a little bit of coinage uh, 150 coins there for doing something i can't remember what i've been doing loads of this sort of stuff um or of course it's a little pack to get you a couple more bronze players all of that stuff will be untradeable but as you can see we're up to 450 coins in the first couple of minutes of being onto the account I've then headed on into the SBC section um, and basically completed, I think I completed the first two or three sets of the foundations um, because I don't think completing all of them, or maybe there is an overall objective to complete all of them, um, but the first couple just essentially just sort of, you end up submitting a, f a couple of bronzes and you end up getting quite a few more back. So it's a way to sort of have a little bit of club turnaround um, and you end up getting a couple of little gold packs along the way as well. So we've gone ahead and got ourselves a Hradecki um, and from another gold pack that I got for completing another batch of uh, the Foundation's SBCs, we got ourselves Otavio. We got a Portuguese from um, Al Nasser. Yeah, 
not going to lie, I kind of thought it was going to be Ronaldo as well. Um, but we weren't that lucky uh, this time around. Although he is only 86 rated this year. So, uh, I, I mean, I imagine he's not going to be too difficult to pack. Um, I skipped this one right here. It's annoying because it's probably one of the better players that I end up getting. It's Lacazette, who I think is a player that I might end up just using in this episode as an example for an Evolutions player. Um, now, it's worth bearing in mind that this will be a little bit easier when you come around to doing this. I'm Like I mentioned at the very start of the video, I'm an EA creator, so I'm on the creator network, which means I've got this game uh, a copy early um, to make content with. And there's literally just like us creators on here um, for this day or so. So there was nothing on the market. So when I'm trying to buy a player and list a player and buy a contract and buy a manager, it's not really possible because there just isn't that on the game at the moment. Um, so you'll find that a lot easier because there'll be literally millions of items on the market um, when you go to do this. Where, whereas when I'm doing it, it's literally 2,000 things on the market. So it's a, it's a little bit difficult. So once you're bored of doing a couple of the um, SBCs and you've sort of turned that around and got a couple of objectives done from that, uh, as you can see, we're up to 1,281 coins. I've probably played a... No, have I sold something? I might have sold something. I, I, I bought and sold something, didn't I? So I would have got a little bit of EA tax. But buying and selling something got me two objectives done and it got me a couple hundred coins. So it's totally worth it in the end. The next area I've headed over to is the Foot Moments. Um, there is a lone Sam Kerr in there for one game. I'm guessing that means that there's some sort of Sam Kerr-related uh, moment section that you guys could complete if you wanted to. I just completed the first batch of literally like the Squad Foundations 101 moments, whatever it may be. Um, and by doing a few things like that, I've ended up working on some of the uh, seasonal progress uh, by getting a little bit of XP. We've unlocked a lone player to begin with. And I'm actually going to choose my first Evolutions player. So I got this Brazilian centre-back. I thought, hey, not bad for a starter player. Um, this Founders Evolution, I'm literally just... Uh, not the Founders Evolution. That's what I'm putting Lacazette into. The very, very uh, Foundations Evolution or whatever it was called, Starter Evolution. Um, I've put I've put that Brazilian centre-back into. And I've also gone ahead and put Lacazette into the Founders Evolution. I wouldn't necessarily recommend these two players. There are probably way better and more meta options out there if that's what you want to do. This is for example purposes only, of course, for this video. I had a lack of uh, players available to me um, and... If this was my actual RTG and stuff, I would wait until I got a player that I really wanted to get a few plus ones on and that sort of thing. So I went and played a couple of games of squad battles. Um, and that, of course, unlocked me a plus two on my Brazilian defender. who has got a little bit more pace and a little bit better physical and defending and passing, whatever it may be. Um, he's just a little bit better of a starter player. Uh, and I quite like that. Uh, so he can go into the squad. Uh, and then I also was working on Lacazette. But along the way, I realized I was completing the Founders Objective. Now, this is something that will, if you're watching this gone November, you won't be able to complete. But as you guys will all most likely be founders of the game, this FC Founder Objective is your, basically, this, this is your Hail Mary. It's your saving grace because it's going to get you quite a lot of XP uh, quite early on, you know, just by completing some regular mundane tasks. So by doing that, I've got myself up to level six. And at level five, there's a really nice pack option there of an 80 times 10 player pack or an 84 double or whatever it is. You, you make your choice, but I'm going to show you what I got in the 84 time, uh, the 80 times 10. Probably be a bit early for an 84 times 10 on the game, wouldn't it? Um, but by doing this FC founder objective and getting all of that done, getting that entire group done, you're getting a, a load of XP that you probably wouldn't normally be able to get if you're just starting Ultimate Team. So that right there is your key to getting not money or tradable items or anything, but just your first half decent batch of packs and a little player pick here and there and you'll end up getting something that you might find usable for your squad that's the aim anyway so this is a 78 times two um we end up getting ourselves a pretty decent looking center mid here in i forget her name pa uh, paula fernandez or paula fernandez 82 overall rated with some really solid stats across the board 
thinking. She definitely ends up going into the squad. Um, the player pick I just opened, I got a, a female La Liga striker as well. So um, those two can combine for a little bit of chemistry. And then this is my 80 times 10. I have to say, I ended up getting quite lucky, getting myself a walkout. I was thinking in my head, I was like, wait, PK? That's not going to be that higher rated. But of course, PK don't play for Barca anymore. Uh, and actually, it was Irene... Paredes? Is, was it Paredes? Yeah. Uh, 88 overall rated Barca female uh, centre-back. And of course, we get like Jorginho, Romagnoli, Fernandes, Pedro Gonzalez, Anderson Talisca. So that is a really good pack to get you some decent players into your starting eleven. It may not make you full chemistry or whatever, but it's a start. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Not put the money on for the FC points, you know. Played a few more squad battles matches uh, with my Lacazette for the Evolution. And as you can see, this is his final form for this Founders uh, uh, Evo type thing. We get an 85 rated Lacquer uh, up from the 83. And we've increased his pace, his shooting, his dribbling and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and he looks like a much better card. So I'm excited to have him in the squad. It's a really cool card design as well. And... Um, I think Darwin Nunes is like the example on this one and actually one that I think a lot of people are going to use. Uh, he looks like you could turn him into a bit of a monster quite early on. Uh, and if that is the case, then I think a lot of people are going to choose Darwin. Um, but that might make him an expensive player because don't forget, when you're doing evolutions, you are putting a player in and they are no longer tradable or you can no longer get them back to put them you know, onto the transfer market or anything. So just bear that in mind. So, with a couple more objectives done from playing squad battles and whatnot, I had a couple more packs. Just to end the video, uh, we ended up getting an 84-rated Grimaldo, which was I'm happy with. That can go straight into my starting 11. And then a Klaus as well. I was looking for a right back. Um, and actually, I've got some Spaniards. I've got some Frenchmen. I've got some Liga and I've got some La Liga. Uh, so, those two can just help me get slightly... About, or around half chemistry, around 16 out of the 30-odd chem. Um that I need and I just wanted to show you as well the players that we've amassed through a couple of hours of playing and doing objectives and that sort of thing um it's as simple as that you know we've got five six thousand coins to work with I think I've got a couple of things that are for sale so yeah we could be up to about uh, six and a half thousand coins uh, in the first couple of hours uh, and that's without any trading and, and that sort of thing of course it's literally just playing the menus and stuff and we have a couple of Evolutions players in our squad, uh, a couple of half-decent players, and a full rare gold team with some really nice, usable starter cards in there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my guide to how you can start FC24 without the use of FC points, formerly known as FIFA points. Um, you can do this for free. It's a little bit more difficult than before, but hey, this is what I've got after a couple of hours, uh, and that can quite easily be... Uh, improved upon by putting some of these players into advanced SBCs and getting some real packs um, and that sort of thing. So thank you for watching today. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. There is of course plenty more FC content on my channel already and there will be loads going forwards as well. So you can subscribe and check that one out. It's free to do and you're free to watch and all of that good stuff. So I highly recommend that. And of course you can follow me on social media as well. Twitter, X, Insta, TikTok, whatever you want. I've got accounts on all of them. So uh, I'll see you over there. Have a great day, everyone. I'm very, very much looking forward to starting the road to glory real soon. Look forward to that. And I'll see you next time. Peace.